HCTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services. Lewis, we're speaking ahead of this weekend's Yorkshire Derby. What's the feeling ahead of this one? Obviously, there's a good buzz around the training ground um, for a Yorkshire Derby. It's, it's always a massive game, so yeah, it's been the feeling's high. We obviously come into this game off the back of a good performance, but obviously not the result we wanted against Southampton. But there was a lot of positives from that game that we could take into this one. Yeah, definitely. We set up in a different way um, in order to try and win the game, but it, di it didn't work out the way that we wanted to. But yeah, there was definitely a lot of positives to take out of it, but there were some negatives as well, which we've reflected on and learnt from. Obviously, Barnsley are close to us in the Skybet Championship table. Does that make this game a bigger one? I think every game is as, as big as each other because in this league anyone can beat anyone. So, um, But yeah, them being close to us and they're in quite a good good form since they've, uh, the new manager's come in. So yeah, it's going to be a tough game. So we put in a good performance against them at the John Smith Stadium earlier this season. Do you take confidence from that? Yeah, definitely. It's um, something to set confidence that we've beat them already. But I think that was a different Barnsley team that, we, that we're going to face. Um, this week so because they've brought a new manager in they've got a different style now so I think it, it's going to be a completely different Barnsley that will face. What do you expect from them in terms of style? I think they'll be um, quite attacking, high high pressing, um, energetic, That's I think that's the way that their manager wants to play so we've got to try and counteract that. When you play against a team that's high energy is it a case of you having to, to match that, raise that? Yeah definitely I think the first main point is you've got to um, work harder than the opposition, so if they're working hard, you've just got to work even harder than them. That must be a challenge that you relish. <laughs> yeah, all the time. It, obviously, like you said, there's been a busy, busy Christmas period. Games came thick and fast. There wasn't really much time for recovery. Before this game, obviously, you guys have had a couple of rest days. Yeah. How important was that? I think to get the days off after the busy period is very important. It's um, it's good to go away and just forget about football, really try and reset yourself, reset your body, reset your mind and come back fresh and ready to go again. Because it's, it's more mentally as well, isn't it, than physically? Yeah, definitely. I mean, your body hurts after games, but your, your mind's also tired, so it's good to get away and rest both of them. What kind of stuff do you do on those days? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> just relax? Yeah, just chill out and just watch TV, really. Yeah, that's about it. And then since you've come back, obviously, into training, has it been all go ahead of this game? Yeah, I mean, we came in yesterday and we've um, we've been working on tactics, but yeah, we're just going to focus solely on Barnsley and yeah, work towards beating them. What's the feeling like in the dressing room now? Yeah, it's good. I mean, we've had a couple of uh, disappointing results recently, but the the moral's still high. Um, we're still looking forward to like playing more games, and we're we're happy in the position that we are. And this weekend, there'll be a packed out away end at Barnsley. They they could really help you, couldn't they? Yeah, to take that many fans away to a derby game, like any fans is brilliant. I mean, if they can be as loud as they are at home, it's, it's that extra person that you need to carry through. Good luck on Saturday. Cheers.